Hello. I want to talk about a, a plugin called Lightbox Plus. So if you've not, I've, I've already installed it on my system. Um, but if you haven't done, you go to Plugins, Add New, and then in the Search Plugins box, search for Lightbox Plus, and then just you just install it like any other plugin. Just just follow the instructions. It's really easy to install plugins. I've already got it installed on this system. So what does it do? Right. Well, normally when you open an image from if you've got a thumbnail and you click the thumbnail, it opens like this. But with a light box, you click the thumbnail and it opens like that. It's just a fancy little box that the uh, the image will open with. Now, when you install this plugin, you don't have to do anything, and it will automatically open. Um, if you put a thumbnail in your page, it will automatically open that thumbnail in the light box. But it won't automatically do that for image galleries. So if you want to open image galleries in the same way, you need to change some settings. I'll show you how to put an image gallery, just in case you don't know how to do an image gallery. Um, let's have a new post. right now all you do you make a new post or a new page then you click the insert or upload button select the files from your computer so we'll have um, try and pick some different ones that we didn't have in the last gallery there. just upload them So far all we've done is it added an image to our page, but we've added several in one go. So I click, say, click save changes. Now when you add several images in one go, it asks you if you want to insert a gallery. This one here. Um, so we want to insert a gallery, but we want to pick this as well, it says image file. So we want to link thumbnails to image file, not to this attachment page. So, it, it, you can change the number of columns as well. If you wanted a different number of columns, you can choose here. Three fits nicely in the page we're going to use. So, click Insert Gallery, and there's the gallery in our page. So, we'll click Publish, and we'll view our post. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> right, so now we've got some images, but they don't open in the fancy light box. So we need to make a ch change some settings to make that happen. So we've already installed the Lightbox Plus plugin. So now we need to go to Appearance, Lightbox Plus, and then th these are all the settings we can change. And we need to change other settings. So if you look down this list, all these different ones, and we've found uh, Primary Lightbox Other Settings. And there's one here that says use for WP gallery. So we just click that and then click save. And now when we go back to our gallery, we'll refresh the page and the light box works. If you want to change the style of the light box, there's a lot of different styles you can use. The, at the top here it says Lightbox Plus General Settings. Now one I particularly like is called Elegant. There's lo loads of different styles you can choose from. But the Elegant one I like. So click Save Settings. So it's that Lightbox Plus style. Choose the one you want. I'll just have a try. Try a few of them and see what you think. And then we can go back and see what's, what it looks like now. Refresh the page. And... There we go, it's got a different, it's got a darker background. So, well that seems easy enough. Alright, what shall we do next? What you might want to do is to only make the light box work on certain pages, so well, certain images. So the way you do that, let's add another picture to one of our pages. Right, so, so I've 
I've got one picture there so I'll add another picture so I'll add a thumbnail just want to put the picture on the page choose it as a thumbnail insert it into the post and there's the picture but this time we're going to have to change some settings to um, to, to make it so that the, the light box only opens when we tell it to so let's go to appearance light box plus oh, tell us we've forgotten to save our page there we go so we're going to appearance light box plus and now we need to go to um, I think it's other settings and what we want to choose is where it says use class method we're going to use click that button we're going to unclick this gallery and we're going to click this do not auto light box images you can't have um, the gallery working and this do not auto light box images working at the same time I'll show you what that means in a minute but what we've done we've gone to appearance light box plus then we found primary light box other settings and we've deselected the gallery so that's not clicked anymore and we have clicked use class method and do not auto light box images and now we need this bit of code here so we'll copy that so it says C box modal. So we'll save our settings and we'll see what our pages look like. Um, we'll refresh the page. See, the light box has gone away now. It doesn't have that light box fancy effect. So let's have a look at our post. We'll refresh that one. Right. See, no light box effect. So we've got to add the light box effect for each individual image so we'll go to the page and it was post with a photo so all we need to do now we're going to add the light box to this one but we're not adding the light box to that one so click the image click the little photo edit button and we want to go to advanced settings up at the top here and then CSS class there. we're going to put that uh, bit of code in there C box modal it's got a capital M and then uh, <laughs> I can't get the thing on the page let's have a look uh, mm, struggling here aren't we there we go right so we put class C box modal and then we just click the update button and that was in advanced settings edit image advanced settings I'll click update and the, 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 this is where the code went click update right now let's see what that looks like we'll refresh the page oh. forgot to update again there we go and then we'll view the post so this one doesn't have the light box but this one does so we can now choose individually which which image we would make open in the light box and we did that with um, appearance light box plus then we went to primary light box other settings and we chose use class method and do not auto light box images and then we pasted this piece of code in um, let's have a look what we do you click the image and then you click this little photo edit image button there and then you click advanced settings and you paste it in CSS class paste it in there and then underneath that is just out of screenshot is a button that says um, update 
So now that one will open as well in the same way in the light box. So if we view that post, now both of these will open in the light box. Oh, no we don't. Oh, hang on. Let's not sure. I pasted it in the wrong place. Let's have a look. it in the wrong box. Oh, wrong picture. There we go. Um, advanced settings. Oh, oh it should be that one. Update, update again, and we'll view our post. There we go. Well, that's all we need to know. I've made um, a web page about this as well at this website here. It's called using wordpress.org. So it's using wordpress.org with a hyphen between using and WordPress. I do hope you find it useful, and I do, ho do hope you enjoy using WordPress. I hope to see you later. Bye.